Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by computergargard.com. In this tutorial we are going to look at how to create a timesheet using different rates of pay. There are many reasons you may need to do this. It may be that you're trying to use different rates due to overtime hours or the type of work that somebody's doing where they may charge different rates for it. In this example we want to include that people get paid different rates due to the day of the week that they are working and whether they're doing a day or a night shift. That is our scenario. So what we have already is we have the start date and end date of the shift and also the start date and end time of the shift that have just been inserted into these relevant columns. We also have a day and night column with a little drop down list somebody to choose whether we are referring to a day or night shift and these are entered onto separate rows. It's just a little bit of a feel for what this spreadsheet is to be used for there. Now I also have another sheet at the bottom called rates of pay where two tables are set up with the day of the week in column one and then the relevant rate of pay. So Saturdays and Sundays which are number six and seven on the day of the week. If number one is Monday, we can see are a different rate, both on day shifts and also on night shifts. And this is the information that we want to include and use in our timesheet. Now, the first thing we need to do is calculate the day and night hours. So we can then figure out how much they need to be paid. So starting with the day hours, the formula we are going to need is we need to subtract the start time from the end time and multiply these by 24. Because these are entered as times, we need to multiply by 24 to convert them to hours. So let me just zoom in on this so it's a bit easier to see on screen as the formulas go in and we'll type equals uh, open bracket d5 take away b5 subtract the start time from the end time and multiply by 24 and I can press enter and I'll get four hours and then copy that down but what we can see here as I copy it down is we've got some confusion on the last one because the end time is less than the start time due to the shift being performed overnight and over different days. And this should be zero anyway, because this is the day hours column and that is a night shift. So I'm just going to return back to that initial cell and add an if statement to the mix there, just to test first of all if the cell that somebody uses to record day or night, whether it equals day, and if so, perform that formula, and if not, to enter zero. So it will be zero hours of work. Now I'm putting this in quite quick there, there's lots of information to be found on the function on their website if you need to. Know a little bit more. But copying that down has now corrected the error. Now it's time for night hours. And that is going to be quite similar. Apart from the night hours formula, we need to include a one plus in front of the other formula. So if I type it in here, we can see it's exactly the same. The D5 take away B5 multiplied by 24. But the addition of that one plus at the start. And that is to include that overnight shift like we have at the bottom where this, the end time is less than the start time because on a different day. So we're going to add that day to the mix. So once again, if I run that on its own and copy it down, we're getting a little bit of confusion. This last one is correct. If 10 o'clock in the evening to 3 in the morning is 5 hours. We have a formula that works. But once again, not on these. So I'm going to move in 
and add that if function to the mix again to test if it equals a night shift. And only if it equals a night shift should you run that formula, otherwise it should be zero. And here we go. Now, although that is working in this example, we need to be aware that somebody might just do a couple of night hours. You know, they might come in at one o'clock in the morning and work till four o'clock or something like that. And if they are considered night shifts, they have not worked overnight, which is what our formula here is assuming. So what I'm going to do is return to that initial cell and add another if statement in there. So if E5 equals night, then before you do the formula, I want to test again if, and I want to test if the start date it is less than the end date, then do that formula. Otherwise, am I going here with this? I want to be in here. Otherwise, do the other formula, the D5 take away B5 multiplied by 24. One, closing bracket. If I enter on that, that shouldn't really make any difference in this example because none of the shifts work that way. But I'll try and open that a bit easier on screen. So we're going to initial test for night. And I'll say, well, if A5 is less than, you know, if the shift went over a day, then do this formula. Otherwise, do the same one we use for day shifts because it's not worked overnight. But we know that this is a night rate or not hours. So now we have calculated the hours. Our next step is to use the two lookup tables that I have established on the other sheet for the day and night rates. And I should mention that I have used a couple of range names here. The day sheet is called day, the night shift is called night, or the night table I should say. Now we don't need these range names for this to work, but I'm going to include them in the formula. Once again, more information on range names can be found at computergargar.com if you're new to it. Let's put it in our formula. So I'm going to have an if function because I need to figure out first of all what shift they're doing. And I might just have a quick test to see if they're doing the night shift. If E5 equals night, that will mean that we need to look at the night table. Uh, otherwise, look at the day table. It is either day or night. There's no other options. So I'll only have to test it once. And I'm testing to if it's a night shift. Comma. So what do you want to do if it is a night shift? Well, what want to do if it's a night shift is use the night hours, G5, and multiply that by how much they need to be paid. And that information is in the night table. So I'm going to look it up. VLOOKUP, let's type that again. <laughs> VLOOKUP, and it asks for the lookup value. Now what I need for the lookup value is if you remember the tables on the other sheet, the first column had the day of the week that was being worked. So what I need to do here is calculate the weekday that is being worked. And I'm going to use a function called weekday for that. I'll find out a weekday of the start date of the shift. That will ask for the serial number. That's the start date of the shift. So A5. If I put a comma, it will ask for the type of working week on to use and I want to use the number two here. Number one is Monday, seven is Sunday. And if you remember the other table, six and seven were the Saturday and Sunday at the end. Close bracket. So that will extract the number that represents the weekday. Comma T 
table array that is called night because they're doing night shift I have that range name comma two return the information from the second column of the table to where the rate is and false for an exact match close off the VLOOKUP let me scroll across so it's easier to see on screen this formula and a comma we can see I'm back in the IF function here now for a value if false and that is going to be very similar so I might actually take a cheeky copy of that bit of the formula and just tweak it so instead of G5 it's going to be F5 that is where the day hours worked are I need to find out what a weekday is but I don't want to look at a night table I want to look at day and that should be that I'll just need one more closing bracket on the end ah, it looks like quite a meaty formula doesn't it because of the two V lookups in there but hopefully it didn't seem so bad as we were going through and if I copy these down that should be using the relevant rates, they should be using night hours, take into account the day of the week, whatever day that was, I have no idea I'm afraid, um, and these will be using the rates from the day table. So just to recap, these two tables over here, there we have the Monday through to Saturday and Sunday, and the relevant stuff, relevant timings. And that is an example of creating a timesheet using some variable rates seeing here how we can have day and night shifts which in your example may be that you know, where I've called it a night shift it may be overtime hours for you that you're trying to calculate or as I say it might be project work a different type of work gets charged at different rates um, but also I've included the day of the week here where you know very often if people work weekends or something like this then um, you know that would oh, or a holiday or whatever that it would also encounter some kind of different rate and that's what I've tried to include in this example hope you find the video useful please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com